who would have thought that when we reached AGI, the first thing we'd notice is how useless it is. In summary, OpenAI just dropped a nuke on the planet. And everyone is happy about it. O3, the newest model from OpenAI, crushed benchmarks designed to stand for decades, surpassed human expert performance on cognitive tasks, and most importantly, showed once again that there is no freaking ceiling to how smart these things can get. They are already smarter than me, and I'm pretty smart. Let's quickly recap what happened. OpenAI introduced O3, a new model based on the chain of thought reasoning. And this AI doesn't even bother competing with peasants, because we have no chance. Instead of high school math, O3 tackled some of the most challenging math problems on the planet. This is considered today the toughest mathematical benchmark out there. It would take professional mathematicians hours or even days to solve one of these problems. Then there's competitive coding, where O3 now holds the 175th highest score on the planet. Well, that's just competitive coding, that's not real coding, it's British people. For you, we have Sweep Bench Verified. That benchmark tests real issues faced by real software engineers. And O3 has scored 71%. Um, the latest model we released, Sonnet 3.5, the new or updated version, it gets something like 50% on Sweebench. And Sweebench is an example of a bunch of professional, real-world software engineering tasks. At the beginning of the year, I think the state of the art was 3 or 4%. So why is it useless then? We need to see how it works. In GPT models, AI essentially blurts out words. These words are related and make sense within the context of the sentence, paragraph, and the overall document. But the AI itself doesn't know what the next word is until it gets there. Kind of like impulsive thoughts randomly popping into our heads. If we were GPTs, we'd be jumping off bridges and slap that huge guy in the back of the head every fucking time. But the old model thinks differently. It blurts out those same words in its head, which is a computer at OpenAI then pauses to ask, is this what I want to say? No, you look awesome. In fact, it is deeper than that. The Osiris produces not just words, but chains of thoughts, and then decides which chain is more promising to pursue. Sort of like playing chess, you don't really know what will happen to any moves later, but at any given point, you see a chain of reasonable moves and pursue the most promising one. This seems to be much closer to how we think. But you can see the problem, right? For each answer, the model might consider tens of thousands of alternatives. All those alternatives have to be produced and paid for, and that's expensive. How expensive? Let's look at the most impressive benchmark of this announcement. Arc AGI. It's a series of novel tests designed not to be in any training data. Beating it, therefore, has to involve reasoning. And for context, these challenges are pretty easy for humans. An average person gets around 85%, and until the O series, no AI seemed to come even close. So when suddenly O3 beats the average human, it's a very big deal. It is undeniably reasoning, not a statistical mumbo jumbo anymore. Although it's useless as hell. OpenAI had to pay between three to four thousand dollars for each question in compute. By the way, I don't have a job right now, so if you know of any job openings that I can say, yes, that dark blue square goes into that empty space and get paid four thousand dollars. Let me know in the comments, please. Although the biggest news to me was this benchmark right here. O3 Mini Low. It's competitive in math competitions, cheaper than O1 Mini, and almost as fast as GPT-40. That's crazy. It's also something that could actually be used by the public right now. Although they'll need a couple of months for security testing, O3 Mini is both useful on day one and shows that despite O3's current impracticality, there is a real path toward making it cheaper and more accessible really soon. I'm Puriya, fresh out of the military service, and I'm so back. If you liked the video, make sure to hit all the buttons down below. It really helps.